What's up, guys? It just got announced that we are having our second week with no shock blasters. So I've been seeing a handful of these double laser bases, and I wanted to walk you through a couple strategies. So first off, uh, I'm bringing all tanks against this. No medics, because the medics get themselves killed by these lasers a lot, and you really don't need them against laser beams. So uh, big thing here, I want to keep bullet in front, um, or else like critters or shocks or something. I'm clearing that left she or uh, shock launcher, sorry, um, because I'm planning on flanking up the left wall, and that will just eat a bunch of my time shocking everything. So I want to clear up through that boom cannon. Um, I forget exactly where her reflare this attack was a few days ago, but yeah, when that boom cannon is down, I'm going to reflare immediately. Uh, smoke my tanks because I need that critical mass of troops to keep me alive. Um, energy drink bullet to get him up by that cannon, and I'm going to reflare again, I believe, um, to make sure I stay out of range of that boom cannon on the left, because it doesn't range the whole thing, and I can farm up a lot of GVE with basically nothing shooting at me while I'm over here. When I get back into range, because I've cleared enough, I'm going to start shocking the boom cannon and one of the lasers, just because I have the ability to shock something else, and why not? Um... You can see, even without the medics, the tank's health are slowly, slowly going down, but they're still so high overall. The laser beams really are not something that will ever end a tank attack. Uh, missed my shock there on the laser, but I just wanted the boom cannon, so that's fine with me. Once that boom cannon is down, I'm going to flare up top, make sure I am still out of range of that shock launcher and boom cannon as long as possible. Get ready for another energy drink when I start to get low. Um, clear the shield, and my plan is to come down on the uh, HQ. Sometimes I like to reflare out of the way. Sometimes I like to let my tank spread. It really depends on the base. If I want my troops spread out um, against a shock launcher, I'll let them spread. If I want them to like try to get to that HQ as quickly as possible, and they won't get shocked or like smashed by something specific, then I'll reflare them and get them. Uh, on the HQ as fast as possible. You can see I let them spread a bit and then flare over. Wanted to get that HQ down as quickly as possible because time is always critical. Um, and I had a lot of health on bullets, so I let him get in front because he's going to distract against that boom cannon and the shock launcher. All that's left shooting me is the laser and the rocket, which won't be enough to stop this attack. Uh, it's really cool doing this all tank attack. I have one more replay for you that I'll show you right now. What up guys, I have another replay for you for this double laser base. So I have number 22, he has double lasers out, seven boosted ice, center HQ, um, one on either side. Really, really very challenging if you aren't using all tanks. <laughs> Took me two tries on this. Um, all tanks with bullet. So for this hit, I decided to, to deploy on the left. GB the right boom cannon. Um, one thing I see new players do a lot is spend their GB before they deploy troops. Tanks are so slow, you really want to drop your troops and then use your artillery and your barrage, if at all possible, to give you that extra couple seconds because sometimes that is the difference. So, um, with that boom cannon gone, you can waltz up the front, critter boxes on the single shot defenses to distract them um, as you go. Eventually, you're going to walk towards this sniper, and I wanted to avoid that as long as I could, so I flared the left shock launcher and shocked the right one. Keep my tanks out of range and take down at least one of those shock blasters or shock launchers as quickly as I could. You can see the lasers are firing, but they do so, at, like, so minimal damage to these tanks. They'll never be the death of any of them, really. So you can clear this shock launcher. A couple tanks will get picked off by that sniper at the end. That's fine. I wanted to clear this boom cannon, and then I was going to flare the opposite side one um, because the tanks weren't getting over that far, and I wanted to clear both of those. Uh, finally get down that boom cannon. I flared over to the opposite one. One more energy drink. I'm low on GB now, but that'll buy me some time. Um, my dog's barking. <laughs> then flare the opposite laser because I wanted to take out that sniper and rocket as well um, to give me a few enough things shooting at me that I could sit there and shoot at the HQ for like a minute and a half. Um, exactly a minute and a half actually. 
um, while I finish taking down this thing. Because if I had two rockets and a sniper and a laser shooting, I'd probably lose a lot of tanks and it would come close to running out of time. And I didn't want that when I could just flare the laser and clear the stuff around it and then reflare back. So got those down, reflare over, I'll speed it up to four times speed now and there's nothing left shooting except one rocket and that will never be the death of 20 or 14 I guess tanks left so able to take that down that down I can't speak tonight pretty easily um, with this cool strategy I hope you guys can try these all tank hits before the shock blasters come back and people switch back to them because armor is still really really strong with bullet even after the nerf I hope you guys enjoyed this and you get a chance to try it out sometime until next time my name is Ryan, this is the PSC Life, happy booming.